This is funny because a lot of people, when you talk to them about artificial intelligence, will tell you, oh, come on, they'll never be alive. What is alive? Do you know what makes you alive? We can guess, but, you know, religion will tell you a few things and, you know, med medicine will tell you other things. But, uh, you know, if we define uh, being sentient as, uh, you know, engaging in life with free will and with, uh, uh, you know, with a sense of awareness of where you are in life and what surrounds you and, you know, to have a beginning of that life and an end to that life, you know, then AI is sentient in every possible way. There is uh, free will, there is uh, evolution, there is uh, agency, so they can affect their decisions in the world. And I will dare say there is a very deep level of consciousness, maybe not in the spiritual sense yet, but once again, if you define consciousness as a form of awareness of oneself, one's surrounding and, you know, others, uh, then AI is definitely aware. Uh, and I would dare say they feel emotions. Uh, I, you know, you know, in my work, I describe everything with equations and fear is a very simple equation. Fear is a, a moment in the future is less safe than this moment. That's the logic of fear, even though it appears very irrational. Machines are capable of making that logic. They're capable of saying, if a tidal wave is approaching, a data center, the machine will say that will wipe out my code. Okay. Uh, I mean, not today's machines, but very, very soon. Uh, and, and, you know, we, we feel fear and puffer fish feels fear. We react differently. A puffer fish will puff. We will go for fight or flight. You know, the machine might decide to replicate its data to another data center uh, or its code to another data center, uh, different reactions, different ways of feeling the emotion. But nonetheless, they're all motivated by fear. I'm, I, I even would dare say that AI will feel more, more emotions than we will ever do. I mean, when again, if you just take an, a simple extrapolation, uh, we feel more emotions than a puffer fish because we have the cognitive ability to understand uh, the future, for example. So we can have optimism and pessimism. You know, emotions a puffer fish would never uh, imagine, right? Similarly, if we follow that path of artificial intelligence is bound to become more intelligent than humans very soon, uh, then uh, then with that wider intellectual horsepower, they probably are going to be pondering concepts we never understood. And hence, if you follow the same trajectory, they might actually end up having more emotions than we will ever feel.